Right, so that was moving with your project back and forward, up and down, um, or zooming in. Let's pick a particular picture. I'm going to use my thumb wheel instead of my uh, zoom tool. In, in all honesty, I tend to use my thumb wheel far more than going um, and having my zoom edit tool. So let's just look at the one big picture, which is now giving me about five seconds of video. We're going to stay on the event pan crop. You saw keyframes. It lets me what, and you can put many, many keyframes. We could have this picture jumping all over the place. What do you want me to do for this full 4.2 seconds? Well, let's go about halfway, two seconds. What would you like me to do at two seconds? Well, I'm going to then take the corner of the photograph and we're going to zoom in just on that one hippo. And let's just see what that does. When I now play this video clip, you'll see that it is going for two and a half seconds zooming and then stopping for the remaining two and a half. You notice it's a smooth transition, it's zooming in. What if you don't want it to do that? What if you want to see each hippo, even though they all look the same, independently? Well, there's three of them, so we better say um, we'll have one hippo at that point, um, at the next point there, that hippo will be there, that hippo then will be there, and towards the end of the video we'll go to our third hippo. Let's have a look at what that does. Space bar to play, we go for video, hippo 1, hippo 2 and hippo 3. Do that again, zoom in to hippo 1, hippo 2, hippo 3. That's probably the effect that you would like to use, but um, let's look at uh, another option. I could change those keyframes. Once it's got to hippo number one, I want it to hold. And hold, I'm right clicking and you'll see the keyframes change color. They've gone from white to red. I no longer want a smooth transition. I'd like it to move into hippo one, go to hippo two and flash to hippo three. Okay. There is the one I didn't do, so let's go and make that one red as well. So again, our video clip will move, zoom in and then jump and jump. So again, uh, keyframes and transitions do not have to be smooth. You can have them, as you saw, there's a few options to um, select. Sharp, smooth, linear. Generally, I prefer good old fashioned smooths. Well, well, let's select a uh, different uh, different picture and let's go and do something else with it. Let's again go to our event pan crop. As you can see, there's our default size for the image starting from keyframe one. Let's go to 2.2 seconds. Again, double click to add or right click to delete or hit the delete button. But I now want to zoom the other way. Well, this is where your thumb wheel comes in handy. First of all, give yourself some working space. So we're going to say from that point, and this is where you drag it, and you'll now see the picture is shrinking on the screen. By the way, if you're not seeing things happen on the screen, make sure that button is down for sync to cursor. It was working there, but for other things you may not see it. So sync to cursor means whatever we're doing there, we would like to see over there. Let's uh, close that down and see what we, we've achieved. So again, now the picture is zooming out for the first two and a half seconds, then sitting there. Let's add in effect. And the reason I'm showing you this is this one caught me. We haven't done effects yet. Let's go to video effects, go to borders. Let's pick a very boring border, a plain white one, and drop it on our picture. You'll now see the border appears, way too big. Let's go make that a nice thin border. And let's see what that does to our video. Well, it's all well and good that we got a nice thin white border, but it doesn't stay with our picture. And that is a painfully simple fix. Again, open pan and crop, my apologies. Go and open your video effects. There is now the border with pan and crop. All you do is drag the border in front 
of pan and crop. And now you'll see the frame stays with the picture. Right, the way Sony Vegas works, or this is the easiest to, uh, rule to remember while we're starting out, is whatever video is on top, or the top most of the timelines, becomes the boss. So if I move our um, hippos to that time, and we move the jackal below, the hippos are the boss. The jackal is behind. So in this case, this will kind of still work because um, we're shrinking the, the image down. But as you'll now see, the hippos are shrinking on top of the jackal. Um, so what else could we do on there quickly? Let's go to the event pan crop and let's say for the last portion of that, for some unknown reason, I would like to turn the picture completely upside down makes no sense at all but we're going to do it so again what does our two pictures look like the hippo shoots in and then does a complete 180 so as you can see this is where multiple timelines start to come in if you're going to do special effects and no um, this video is me messing around it's the 28th of December 2014 um, got some spare time so I just wanted to make an entry level video but obviously we can go on to far far more involved videos um, insert remove envelopes which we haven't done yet composite levels putting tags there there's lots more we can actually do um, but I'm gonna post this video on um, YouTube and see if there's any response for this type of training. I see there's lots of videos showing wacky effects for um, doing gunshots and laser beams, but if there's a requirement for good old fashioned knowing Vegas basics so that you can create professional uh, home movies, please like this video or give me some comments. And if there is any response to it, I will start to do um, one video a week in uh, 2015. And we'll build up a library, um, taking this right into effects, sound, and, and, f and far more advanced um, parent and child uh, options and using some of these other features. So if you feel the format of this video is correct, um, please give me some comments or some likes. And um, we'll take it from there in 2015.